Oops. Okay guys, I hate to start a video like this, but my intro clips kind of got corrupted, so here we are. Uh, long story short, there was a lady stuck in this parking lot, so I just helped her put her truck into four-wheel four drive and drove it out for her. But uh, little did I know, I was going to beach my own truck uh, three feet from the frickin' road. Um, but anyways, I figured I was pretty pinned up, and so I was like, let's start some 4x4 testing right here. Um, now, before you watch this video, I made a video basically of the same thing um, last week, talking about how the front drive shaft of my truck wasn't actually locked in when I was in four-wheel drive lock. Um, so I'll leave a link below if you guys want to check that out before this video. But anyways, here's some audio from what would have been my uh, my intro. What's going on guys? My name's Alex. Welcome back to the channel. And today I have a very special video for you. As you can see, I have completely buried my truck in the snow. And I apologize about the noise. We got some machinery clearing snow kind of right beside me, but it is what it is. So we are up at Mount Washington. Just got a fresh dump, probably about a foot and a half of snow. Made a video about a week ago saying how this truck's four wheel drive lock failed on me. Some of you guys commented I didn't fully turn off the ESC electric electronic stability control and I didn't. So we're up here to retest. I brought my toe strap, but it doesn't look like we need it because I've already buried myself. This thing isn't going anywhere. So now we are gonna really test if this thing works in four wheel drive lock. And if you don't believe me how much snow, that's just about under my knee. So there is lots of snow, which is why I have my beautiful Explorer hat on because it's winter time now. I bought another GoPro so I can get two angles of the rears and the fronts. So to make sure I am not lying to you guys, and we will test this thing out with both cameras to see if the four wheel drive lock truly locks that front drive shaft in because now that I'm stuck, we better find out. Anyways, let's start out with four wheel drive high or four wheel drive lock high. We'll see what tires spin. I'm excited. So my electronic stability control system is fully off and I start off by crank my wheels all the way over because last time we were up here, uh, when I did this, we had no power to my front wheels. It's really too bad I don't have two cameras because I couldn't show that the rear wheels were actually spinning, so you just have to take my word for it. I think you can see that the truck is kind of torquing up and the rear wheels were spinning, but for the most part, the front axle doesn't move at all. Now, as you can see, um, there's plenty of power to the front drive shaft. But once again, um, my front diff is an open differential, meaning that only one wheel will spin. But what's key is that at least one of those wheels is spinning all the time, meaning that the front drive shaft is engaged to the rest of the powertrain, which is exactly what we want when we select four wheel drive lock. Now I'm in four wheel drive low, and once again, with the electronic stability control fully turned off, the front drive shaft is fully engaged, even when I crank the wheels all the way over. But here we can really see the downfall of having open differentials on your truck. You can see the passenger side wheels really don't turn at all, which is kind of crazy. Um, and I guarantee if I did have even one locker or both differentials locked and having all four wheels turning at the same time, I guarantee this truck would have just pulled out with relative ease. Side note guys, this is called a Snowcat. Pretty wicked machine. Usually runs the ski hills or uh, clears the ski hills and helps build the, the ski hills. But today it's plowing a uh, parking lot because some loser got himself stuck. Sorry guys, I had to move locations. That guy really wanted to plow the parking lot and I was the loser that was stuck in that spot. Anyways, managed to get out, that's good. What's even better is that I was wrong. I was not aware that when you hit the traction control button, it did not fully turn off the ESC system. And when I did do that, the front wheels turned every single time I turned the steering wheel in four lock, in four low, and in four auto. So there you have it. I was totally wrong. Good news is, is that uh, this thing is not as incapable as I thought it was. And uh, the message to take away from this is that if you are going off-road, make sure you know how to turn off your ESC system, because if you don't, you will 
end up in a situation where the front drive shaft isn't spinning as much as you would like it to. There you have it. Case closed, right? Nah, we'll have some fun in the snow. See if we can get this thing spinning up pretty good. Stay tuned. I just did that with the windows down because I don't know, I'm stupid. Oops. Oh baby. <laughs> She's a little snowy in here. Oh baby. Well, what do you know? Every day you learn something new. It'll dry, right? Right? Oh yeah, there's there's a lot of snow in this truck. That's interesting. Oh, look, <laughs> there's my backpack. It's, uh, yeah, it's pretty covered. Even the camera got full of snow. That's, <sighs> let's just shake it all out here, right? Not a big deal. Now, no one can say this thing isn't a pavement princess when I just filled it with about two inches of snow. Well, I made some nice donuts, I think. I don't know. Let me know what you think about my uh, my little uh, donut spiel there. I thought it was pretty cool, but who knows? Maybe you guys think that was just stupid. I know a lot of people in the parking lot thought it was pretty stupid, but <laughs> we're not here for them. What I would like to do is tie this truck to a tree and give her tits again, and really just completely redo that test that I did on my other video, because I think, you know, it's, it, uh, It'll totally prove that, potentially, I was very wrong, which I think I am. Uh, but they did get a bunch of snow last night, probably, I don't know, a foot and a half of snow. So they are all, all the snow equipment, snow plows, snow cats are out plowing the parking lots. And the parking lot where I tested this thing, where there's a nice tree close to the, uh, to the parking lot, they are currently plowing. And I've already held up one snow cat and I don't feel like holding up another one. So maybe I'll go in for lunch and uh maybe after lunch they'll be done and we can hook this baby back up to a tree and uh really put her to the test also um <laughs> the snow is starting to melt we get a little drip drip on the seat i'll get to deal with that all right so we're not going back to that same location but i have scouted out a new location and it looks like this ground is nice and icy, so hopefully these wheels will just spin nice and freely, unlike the last video I made. So, let's hook her up and uh, let's test her out. All right, here we go. We got our last test here. We will see for certain if this front drive shaft truly is locked in four wheel drive lock. I'm going to set up both my cameras on either side and we will start in four wheel drive lock and we'll do four wheel drive low as well. And we'll see what happens when I turn the steering wheel. If, they, if the front drive shaft stays engaged or if those clutches come undone. After our first test this morning, I think that those clutches are going to stay engaged, but only time will tell. Let's do it. All right, here we go. EC, EC, whatever. Stability control is off. We will start with the wheels turned. We are in four wheel drive lock right now. Let's see what happens. Oh, dummy, put it in drive. That's step one, put it in drive, kids. Well, I'll be damned. She f turns. She
she turns and why not let's put it in four wheel drive low and uh see what happens there too here we go oh put it in drive dummy well at this point i'm just burning rubber not even a question wow that is incredible incredible how wrong i was all right so don't trust anything i say because i was here last week telling you guys how this truck's four-wheel drive system sucked and that the front drive shaft doesn't actually lock and here i am a week later after reading a youtube comment on my own video telling me that i had to actually turn my traction control fully off so there you go the rams four-wheel drive does for the most part as far as i can tell lock in the front drive shaft turns those front wheels obviously i have a front diff and or obviously my front diff is an open differential so you know they're not going to turn at the same time but one wheel was always spinning i think i'll have to double check on the footage but it sounded like it was and the rear wheels we know spin no matter what another open differential doesn't really help me out much in the snow but that's changing Shh. i might have a locker in the mail Shh. well guys that's gonna end it for today turns out it's a happy ending for the dodge rams 4x4 which i'm happy about because i do own a dodge ram 4x4 um if you did like the video maybe think about giving me a thumbs up helps the channel out helps me out um and if you like videos like this uh maybe even think about subscribing because i'll be doing a whole bunch of stuff with my truck mechanically uh things i just find interesting and maybe even some off-roading and some exploring um but other than that thanks for sticking around always appreciate it and we will see you guys on the next video